To understand how we ended up with four dogs on a bus headed home to Canada, we need to do some explaining. Steph and I have a deep love of dogs, as many of you may have realized from our videos of Central America and our trip to Panama. I have always wanted a dog, but realized the life we live would be hard to balance with one. We have been blessed to be godparents to Storm, Rusty, and Tucker Dog. They have taught us a lot about what it means to love and take care of a dog without actually owning one. As you'll see in this video, there's a lot to talk about and a lot of things to think about. So come see what's going on. We have been blessed to travel lots of the world. Every culture has different ideas about dogs. But what I have seen is they all have unique characters and souls. Some follow the instinct of caring for their young on the streets of Mitla, Mexico, or climb to the top of a Sri Lankan mountain to sleep under a shrine. They all make choices, just like us. Some are good, some are not. Some are lucky, some are not. We often say that had we not been on motorcycles on our Panama trip, we would have brought back several dogs. What better way to start my birthday than a beautiful sunrise and a walk with Boots, our favorite Mexican stray. Come on, morning shenanigans. We got brown dog. Funny story, I was on the beach the other day and uh, met a guy named Steve. He told me a story about how, how this could be Boots. Apparently he's the father of these two. They were a litter of eight puppies and these are the only two left behind for whatever reason. Well guys, we are here to see Shadow who is the Calamax dog that we saw. And she's had her puppies. <gasps> oh goodness! Look at this one. This on here right now is uh, this is the second time I've been to the grocery store, and there is a stray dog here that is expecting, and it is super sweet, and it seems to be talking to me. Maybe it's because I just want to hear it. I do some homework. Maybe come up with a plan to save this dog. See what happens. So on the 22nd and we're like the 28th. So they're like six days old. Okay, so a little follow up or a better explanation about the Calamax. I'm going to include the little clip where we met this beautiful little mama and she pleaded for some help and we reached out on social media and we used San Felipe Chatter and uh, we had an angel who went down there and grabbed her and uh, yeah, they're all doing really, really well. Oh, they're looking like Look at the them. size of them. They're just little chubba nuts now. Little chubba nuts. So yeah. Look at she's she's awesome. She is. Such she's a good mommy. Good job, mama. She's so confident. You know, yeah. she was very trusting. Very, yeah. very trusting. Yeah, that was the thing with her at the at, that struck me at, at the Calamax is the way she approached us mm -hmm. with such just calm. Yeah. Very just sure. absolutely no like no fear or no. or and she was just so chill, yeah, and, and yeah. That's, a, that's a beautiful trait for a dog. It is. It's, it's nice, too, that her litter's not too, too big. Oh, I was, you know what? We started at three, and I, I phoned my cousin who lives here. Oh, good, we just got three. About, she had them quite a week. The first three she had quite fast. Yeah. Then the fourth one was born about eight hours later. I said, oh, I phoned her back. Oh, number four is here. The next morning, about 5.30, because I slept in here the whole time yeah. in case there was something going on, you know. And uh, I hear this squeak, squeak, squeak. And uh, number five. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't. Do you want to get in there? No, it's awesome. Oh, good. No. Thank you so much for bringing, letting us reunite with oh. uh, with Mama Dog. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and she's so playful now. Oh my God, she's so playful. But she's like I said, she's chewing a little bit of the wood on the chair, so I gotta keep that. But she's just amazing, freaking amazing dog. Hey, Shadow. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was kind of a big deal for me to say come and oh, say goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help with oh, directions. Good. I just felt so bad, but I just now we found our way. 
Yeah, yeah, you did. You found me. Yeah. You found her. Okay. Uh, we've made our way to the San Felipe Dog Rescue and there are a lot of dogs here in need of uh, adopting, clearly. And uh, some of them have already like figured me out because I brought a couple treats and they're, they're on me like white on rice. But uh, this one reminds me of Christopher John's dog. The, the brindle coat is just absolutely yeah. beautiful. So we're going to hang out with these guys for a little bit and uh, see what we can do to help them. Oh, this is uh, one that's big waffle. Okay, Steph is clearly hating her experience here. And uh, yes, we unfortunately we have found... One of found, the puppy litters. We found the heart stealers. Yes, we have. Of course, obviously we can bring lots of little guys home. Oh, look at that. This is about the moms. Moms just like, save my babies. <laughs> I want this love muffin here. <laughs> wow, this is overwhelming. Uh, so many dogs uh, and they need help. And uh, I want to save them all. Oh. What do you got going on over here, Steph? Just a few more little guys. Another litter puppies. Oh, he's so smooth. Look at the smiling faces down there. Found a friend. He found me. We're in a special room with some of the harder done by ones. Ruby here in the corner is incredibly nervous, but she's had a really traumatic experience, I think. She's got a bit of a scar on her leg. But yeah, again, lots of dogs. Doing and dogs. Uh, yeah, they need to find homes. Okay, so we have, we have Ozzy. Okay. Okay. Same one as Simba, except it's and Gidget. Okay. And Gidget. Okay. All right, so we'll see you on Wednesday. I gotta go back. Yep. Um, and Brindy over here. Yes, I'm going to be here and we're going to take you home with us, okay? I'm going to give you some hugs. You're so sweet. Wipe your paws. Wow, yeah, it was a bit much. Uh, but uh, the wind's a little strong today. We're all gonna go get something to eat and think about uh, the next couple of steps. And uh, you'll uh, probably by this point see what's gonna happen coming up next. So sad that there's just so many dogs and it's like, of course you wanna take the puppies cause they're the cutest, but there's so many other dogs too that really need help here. Um, yeah, it's pretty sad to see, but they're all like mostly super, super happy and just all want love and affection and just want to give you love and affection too. So hopefully we can help a few of these dogs out. As we ride back to town, we reflect on what we saw and what we see every day. Hola. Hola, amigos. This is Pirate and Tiger. Hola. Hola. Well, the dogs have all peed on our tires. I said it would probably be a good idea.
Okay. <laughs> is he making like yeah. dog prey? No, it's yeah. great. You can come in. You can come and check out what's going to happen <laughs> inside. But uh, this is—I wouldn't say it started this. This a long time started for us uh, with dogs and, and being obsessed with them and stuff like that. So this is kind of like the next evolution of of us helping dogs in some way, shape, or form. And uh, so yeah, we're. Uh, yeah. Out of here, found Mercedes Hello. on the street, and uh, couldn't let her live there, so she no. hooked her up. Now we're gonna take her to her new home in Canada. Yeah, yeah because the shelter system is so overwhelmed here in San Felipe, mm -hmm. she just circumnavigated and reached out to some Canadian family with uh, some kids in acreage, and uh, this little pup is going to get the surprise <laughs> of her life uh, as she makes her way all the way to Canada. Yeah, and. Uh, what inspired you like obviously you already love dogs i love dogs <laughs> and uh and sometimes they just come up to you and they just grab you we actually got to go see yeah. mama dog really uh yesterday with the puppies and she's uh we'll include that in our next yeah. video but super cool to to see her again mm -hmm. and she's the sweetest dog ever Our and are her puppies so are so cute oh i yep. bet they're all so cute i mean but they were like this oh. big and they didn't even have their eyes oh, open yeah. oh yeah, yeah so you're like we can't take them home no. <laughs> okay so if there's yeah. anything you want to say to to the uh, folks or anyone or um oh she's getting excited just that i'm gonna miss this one and that i am so appreciative to scott and steph for taking her home to canada to her new home um She's gonna have a great life, and I'm sure you'll see her love. when you visit. Exactly, I get to visit, so that will be great. And yeah, say hi to the camera, Mercedes. Mercy. Okay. <laughs> mercy, mercy, yeah. mercy. Mercy. Okie yeah. dokie. Let's uh, give you a kind of a, a show you what we're up to, okay. and then I gotta check that thing for measurements okay. and see how it works out. Right. But uh, this is a very messy version of our uh, true, oh true collar. I love it. So yeah, seating for seven. Yeah. Uh, the cooler usually goes back here. Wow. And then uh, we have uh, four fixed bunks. We're doing a little uh, cleanup before we go. And then this is normally bunk five and six. But wow. bunk five and six is now going to be house four, five, and then we're going to hopefully fit the kennel in here or down here. Wow. I might, we'll see which one it fits in better. And uh, so yeah, I just got to do some measurements real quick on that. Look at that. It's nice here. Yeah, this is the garage. That's, that's fantastic. This is the garage where we put all the bikes. Yeah. And then when the bikes aren't in here, this is our suite. Stephanie is sleeping in the yeah. back with a view out the oh, window. That's so nice. The view of the ocean. Yeah. So the cool thing is once they're in here, the door is closed to be able to run like lunatics. Yeah. Except we're going to actually have the back all blocked off. So they'll have the yeah. whole front. But I think what we'll do is we'll only have one dog out at a time. Yeah, see how they do. Well, <laughs> you just don't want to be like driving along and have them all jumping all over you. Yeah. So what will happen is we'll, we'll probably spend, like, rotate them or the other thing too is the bunks are really quite roomy too. Yeah. So, so we'll be able to hang oh, out there with them. You cold? You're shaking. Yeah, it's going to get even worse. Yeah. Sure. That's the hardest part of this trip for us is it's going to get colder. The cold. Anyway, super awesome. Yeah. And it was cool to meet you. It was yeah. so cool meeting you guys. I am so, so appreciative from the bottom of my heart. And I'm so excited to... Uh, to watch her journey back home. I'll be keeping an eye on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, uh, although, like I say, it'll probably be like one episode and then we'll already be home. So the next yeah. one you'll see her moving on to, yeah. hey, to Denise. We call this one brown dog. Hi Zeus. Zeus came for his morning visit. He wanted to jump on the bus, but well, hello. We got, you picked up Blue Eye there. That's a mama, or no? That's a mama dog. No. Oh that's my Papa God! Dog. What a send off! <laughs> they don't want to be a part of. We've been walking with them every day for two weeks, and oh, it's almost it's always boots and a mixture of. 
but now we got got the whole mob. Well guys, this is it. This is our last morning in Mexico, our last morning on the beach here in San Felipe. The dogs are out in full force, have you seen? Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, we got a, a good send off. Uh, Zeus came to the bus this morning to find us and he stuck his head in there and he wanted to come in and say hi. And uh, we've had a, an absolutely awesome walk. All the dogs came out. Um, uh, we had our friend uh, over here and his dog CJ and the little one here, Mercy and uh, brown dog, blue eye and uh, boots. They all came out. It was awesome. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of packing left to do. So uh, let's get this show on the road. Perfect. Okay. We have uh, <coughs> these two leashes and a collar for donation. Cool. Thank you. So who's getting Ozzy? We have to know. Well, can I hug you? Oh my God. He's our favorite dog. We all love him. He oh, got he Ozzie. got oh, schmoozed this morning. Everybody, and he's laying world. on the thing. We have a friend who lost her pity uh, a year ago, maybe. Uh -huh. So we might try and see if she'll take him. But otherwise, I'm keeping him. Yeah. He's got you. Yeah. <laughs> we love that boy. And your kid. Got Brindley here. Trying to get them familiar with their new environment for the next week. Well, we've made it to Mexicali and are just about to enter the border area. It's been an interesting journey so far. We stopped for gas, filled up the bus. Yep, this is it. Dogs are doing all right. Poor Ozzy has puked twice and uh, pooped in his kennel. That's been exciting. Probably the wrong Whoa. Well, gang's all here. And we made it into the States. I wouldn't say we, uh, I wouldn't say we smuggled illegal Mexicans into the United States because they all had their passports but nobody checked them. Luckily, we were in and out of there in less than an hour, which was pretty awesome. Uh, definitely happy about that. So I think tonight we're gonna make it towards Palm Desert. Yeah, this is what they're usually like. Where's uh, Ozzy? <laughs> well, as you saw, we had dogs in the bus, and now we're having Denny's first time since our trip back from Panama. I think we ate in Flagstaff, Flagstaff Arizona. There, uh, we're all uh, gonna be picking out here. Uh, this is the day. Does Scott get a new bike day? So, what is he going to go look at? That's the question. This is going to be the surprise of the day. Do we look at a bike? Do we take the bike? And if you can guess what the bike is. So, there you go. Stay tuned. So, this kind of explains why we ended up with four dogs on a bus. Wish us luck. We have a long way to go to get home. Go on, get you. Can you get some? She got beat up by the dogs at the rescue, so she doesn't want to get into a pissy match for water or food, I think. Do you? No. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.